G'day and welcome back. Let's play some more of our third Roman Mandate campaign in EU4. So we're just trying to deal with uh, rebellion issues, much like the rest of Europe at the moment. All right, now we're in uh, local autonomy in Ladoga. Uh, yes, Sardinian separatists have done stuff. We've lost the siege of Sassari. Yes, papal separatists have taken Urbino. Yeah, we're going to wait for the rest of our guys to get in. We'll go deal with them. Do have to keep an eye on this though. Hmm. Corsica and Cagliari for them, Cesare for them, and all of that other stuff for them. All right, Ming has sabotaged our Diplo Rep. Done in Cologne. Can't get voted for until we take charge, which will be soon. Hmm. All right, conversions. Knock them out. And make that a core. Fine. Fine, fine. Alright, next ability is for Libre Desire on same continent subjects. Well, it's not the same continent that we worry about at the moment. Sees a lot. Um, hmm. Alright, what's the other one? Force March costs no power. Global naval engagement. I guess we'll take loyal subjects. Alright, knocks these guys down. Doesn't affect colonies. But let's go re embargoing the rivals over that side. Get the early warning back up. And convert Stralsund to Orthodox. Global tariffs up. Doesn't affect this. Just, yeah, fine. Alright. And lost another general. Beggars go over the influence gap. Russia gets new men for advisor cost reduction. Or disloyal new men. Global trade power, bad. Lose a bunch of tradition. Alright, well. The burgers should have something ticking out in four years. Good enough. We must not stand in their way. And we need to give more land to the boyars and the clergy. <clears throat> and we can raise Streltsy. Um, boyars and clergy. I would say boyars. Click on the right one. Boyars can have this. Good enough for them. Clergy can have grapes. Good enough for them. And we have 16 divisions here. I'm seriously asking for more unlawful territory. Alright, we want to get started on this side. It's level 4. So we only need 12, right? <clears throat> and the disaster is 1781. So yeah, that should work out. We can get started here. <clears throat> need artillery to roar up. And a new guy is in. Swedish pretender rebels. Meh. Norwegian pretender rebels. Meh. Alright, Swedish and Norwegians. In the far north of all places. Well, we don't want them to break free, so can we do suppression from here? Can we throw Alexi and somebody else in charge of these? Uh, probably not Platon in the front. Alexi in the front. And <clears throat> Platon in the back. And no, they won't do it. So they go up to Finnmark. And over there. And again, we should probably pay the armies on the way. Now, our colony is done. <clears throat> the one that doesn't free up the guy. But more ships are getting finished. That's good news. We gotta transport guys a lot faster. Even faster still. Do you have. Ah, crap, they're supposed to be going that way. Alright, we've won the Siege of Ancona. That will take back these pair. Let's get down to Siena. <clears throat> Alright, they're done. 
So we just need to stop these guys trying to move, group them up, and then tell them to move. Let's go Naples. And it looks like the Ottomans destroyed them. Papal Separatists. No, he wouldn't have had any of their land. Actually, he had Dragrinod, so he might have. Alright, Pueblo accepted peace. Russia occupied Siena. Yes, we did. Let's get over, do some of the rest of these. Then we're going to drop them in Corsica. And then just float across there. Alright, Portugal forced Majavit to break with Tudori. Got Luca. Alright, knock these lot out. That core will be done soon. And Commonwealth Separatists are the only ones left. Because war exhaustion is done. Okay. Dealt with them without too much hassle. If we go to Pisa, go from there to Corsica. And New Russia has issues again. Disable embargoes. And we can raise the Streltsy. Not yet. Um, what are we doing? We're doing the last of these. Then we just uh, go along the top there, I guess. Probably could have looked for islands we could have done, but... Yeah. Alright, those revolutionaries are going to be stuck there. We have more transports. And more transports. I guess we throw them up into the ocean there. Alright, when the siege of Finnmark, we need to destroy them. Alright, it's not looking too bad. Other colonies are going to be done soon. Commonwealth won't actually fire. Alright, thing with Portugal is done. He is allied with Ottomans, France, and Andalusia. Alright, we'll sort out Ancona. And then everybody's going to be wonderful. Hologuland. Why are you both in the same province? Uh, Alright, you come around the other way. It's a big fat stack there. Um, after they're done, they'll go there. And then one will keep walking. Alright, renewing loans. Uh, everything is expensive. We still need to pay the army. Alright. Really need now. We, we don't even have the consort anymore. Oh no, that's because of the thing. Okay, um, which means we still can't be voted for. You can be voted for when he dies, right? If it was us there, we wouldn't be able to. So, Cologne doesn't want to vote for us because we control two other electors. Liège doesn't want, want to vote for us because of force vassalized and aggressive expansion. That'll go away quick enough. Let's make sure we keep improving with them. Just in case he dies young. Alright, keep gaining admin. This fleet needs to come up here. And... When they're done... Hmm. Um, maintaining Liège. Alright, the boats are in an unknown location. Don't think we're suffering attrition anywhere. Alright, and the integration of Denmark is continuing apace. Can't do Norway until he was high enough, which he is now. They're obviously not going to finish anywhere near the same time. But Norway, can we finish here before the end? 1799, 25 years. Confirm. 
Yeah, Sweden and all the rest. Yeah. Won't really be doable. And the boats are there. Let's go get across to Corsica. And the Genoese are in Corsica and Cagliari. It's fine. Cagliari, well, Cesare is going to be the issue. Right, got that. Gavrilli is not the best. Let's go Alexi. Who has some maneuver, and that guy doesn't. Alright, another colony done. Thinking of starting from the coast on this side. Alright, get him out. Palatine separatists are miles away from the planet, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. We're going to bring more men across. Alright, spread of disease. Yeah, attempt to assuage their pain. And he attacked us, did he? Or did he just appear somewhere else? Hmm. Well, we'll grab more Streltsy as soon as we're in a war. I think we're looking good for now. So, Ottomans, dealing with all their Separatists. We are still rival to them. Ah, yeah, because we're going to do it till 79. Rebels are close to enforcing their demands. Seven months from now. Um, we should have stopped these guys. Alright, got the leader back over there. Alright, got Cagliari. So they now can't enforce that advance. Bring these guys up and group them. Consolidate and what do we need? Need 18. Uh, they're all going to be infantry. Have three siege, so we have to do it this way. 10. 19, sounds good. Get these guys to Korthika. With the 35 transport ships that put us... Oh, still slightly under. We are building four more. I'm sure we had more than that were being built. Oh. Aragon is being a really useless ally since he started getting weaker against Portugal. Portugal went to the coalition. Great. Well, we are going to discourage them from actually attacking us. Another 83 stack split in half to Nava and Ingerman land for now. And nobody is allowed to back them. Alright, well we're looking good in Europe. It's just the new world is a bit harsher. And that'll do us there. Get these three to join the rest. And we're looking good. Alright, the whole enlightenment thing. Um, yeah, we can't do that until we've done this, which is going to take absolutely forever. On the Siege of Cesare, uh, yeah, we're down to a zero two. So, everything here is hunky-dory. Guess we'll leave one stack there. We might leave them both there. Ottomans, I think, would be the only ones we go to war with. Although, Portugal, France... Now we can declare on whoever we want. Hmm. And we have to get Cologne's vote back. 
All right. Um, Magdeburg. We did chomp on them rather severely. So if we just go to war with them, we'd be at war with France. Magdeburg, Portugal, and Ming. Um, I mean, we could give France a run for their money. We'd have to to get Magdeburg to vote for us. Aggressive expansion means they'd never vote for us, even if they were our vassal. Alright, so we don't need to worry about that. We just have really no chance of becoming emperor. Unless somebody else steals one of these votes. Might end up having to dismantle the HRA. Magdeburg is not controlled by us or one of our dependents. So if we declared on Magdeburg and just took their capital and Portugal's capital, we could dismantle the HRA. Hmm. Gain over 100 gold from privateering a single treasure fleet. Might actually be able to do that. went and privateered Portugal's gear over there. Have to do Britain. Although Portuguese Mexico might have gold mines down there. Alright, the very expensive advisor is dead. Let's grab some Diplo rep. I should deal with the money situation a little more easily. And Russian North Germany. Do we want Stralsund? The House of Rurikovic. With the union of Ivan and Elizaveta, we've gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally in the realm. So the Romanovs want to get the Rurikoviches back in, do they? 244 heirs, not bad. Rurikovic is an old and influential family, and their seat in Napoli is a jewel of the Tsardom. Of course, friendship has to go both ways, and Elisaveta will be expected to speak for her kin, while Asar will be expected to consider such advice very carefully. Right. Constantine, it is. Elisaveta. Provençal separatists. Excuse me. Provence shouldn't have any land down here. They're just going through. After not trying to take any land from Provence. Weird. Alright, uh, these guys go through to Pisa. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright. They look like they're not going to be able to progress. That's okay. These guys need to move over. Alright, sale of situations looking fine. Army is the way to glory. And another general's dead. We're running very short on generals. Burger's estate gains loyalty. Poznan goes to them. Gain base tax. Yes. Alright, the Burger's. What are we saying? Burgers new colonization rights. Global settler increase. Yep, that's the one we want. And Defender of the Faith is a no. We have no points at the moment. Oh, there we go. Alright, Dahomey, Masana, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be the Coalition War. Which means we're at war with Ming. Yeah, I mean, we could drag this out, but we're close to the end of the game. And there are no more achievements that we can actually get, because Live Long and Prosper is the only one I wanted to do. So I'm going to call it quits here. I'll have a quick look at the uh, timeline of how we went. But otherwise, that's going to be the end of this campaign. I want to uh, try a few other things to get different achievements. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon for something a little bit different. All right, see you later.